Breaking news, Nigerians. Happening now. Mass protests rocks Lagos over hike in price of goods. Well, this one don't they make Nigerians they react left, right, and center. Some people come they talk say why don't they protest? And on are they not the ones who supported the the President Bola Tinubu's uh, uh, government and all that? But if you ask me, I could tell you say not hundred percent right. President Muhammad Buhari did not win election in Lagos State. No, he did not. He lost to Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi. He did not win election in Lagos State. If we are going to judge it by that, that way, you understand, the president lost in Lagos. Now, let's leave Lagos. Nigerians are going through hell and uh, with the look of things, you can understand that the government, they are not even ready, you know, to do anything. They are not even ready to uh, provide solutions to the problems Nigerians are facing. They could tell you, say, uh, the next generation will, you know, benefit from the policies that is being made from the president currently. I don't know who are those ne next generations. We never even talk about this generation now. He's in all this generation. We also bring bring, uh, uh, bring those gener generations to life. What of this generation now, not if we survive this matter, who will bring them to life? You know, the government have started saying Nigerians should make sacrifice and all that. But they can never make sacrifice. They, are, uh, they don't they talk of how to buy a helicopter for the president and the vice president. They are estimating about... 100 million dollars you understand why nigerians are battling with food why can't nigeria government at least subsidize food prices the only solution to the problem nigeria and nigerians are facing now can only be be, be resolved by bringing down the price of diesel petrol and gas and electricity these are the main problem now, transportation is affecting everything. Even if when you buy something one naira, uh, two naira, you they transport them to where you want to go sell them. Something normal, normal. Maybe before now, say uh, you buy them two naira. Okay, let me just say two thousand. Maybe with your transportation, you should be talking about the cost of that thing. Should be that kind, two thousand fifty naira and everything. But now it's not like that. You go buy something. I'm giving you an example. You go buy something of two thousand naira before you transport it to your destination. That thing don't they come at five thousand naira? Then before you go come put your own game. So you see, that is why life is very difficult. Even those people who are doing business, they are suffering it. The situation whereby you buy something today, one thousand, you will sell for one thousand two. Then that two hundred naira is your gain, right? When going back to the market to get that particular item it's now selling for three thousand naira tell me how you are going to cover up you've not even gotten the capital the gain you made is not even enough for you to you know uh, purchase that uh, item again you see so many business now is now folding up and to the government they are doing well you understand so many businesses are now folding folding up even the uh, Mega businesses in Nigeria, they don't they work out, they come out. They complained of unfavorable economy and uh, foreign exchange rate in Nigeria. So you see, everybody don't they chop this matter now for grand, for mouth. I don't talk this matter and I'm saying it again. Nigerians will not leave this situation if we don't delete this tribalism and uh, what is it called? Religion. If now exercise uh, strength to wear well for this protest, then go send soldiers on you. That is what African leaders are good of. They will send soldiers on you. If you can recall what happened during SS, and this is actually making people, you know, not to uh, shake their body on this particular matter. People are dying in silence. How much is salary? Food to eat now is a problem. I always tell us that as a Nigerian, your salary is 500,000 naira. Forget about you are saving money to buy a car or you are saving money to build a house. Where are you day? You they play? It's not possible because that money we earned 
you will end up uh, spending that 500,000 Naira for feeding. And don't be surprised that before the month end, that 500,000 Naira will still go. Enough is still rich. You can't still go, can't they look for how to survive. Let's just take example, a family of um, uh, 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 four. Four children and their parents, six, 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 six persons in the house. Tell me how this will help. Nigerians, this is no longer funny. Insecurity have taken over the, 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 the land. People can no longer go to their, to their farms. Now, the rate of, you know, poverty in Nigeria has increased. You understand? They will tell you that protest will destroy Nigeria, this is and that and all that. How do we now differentiate democracy government and the military government? Before the when we they grow up, they come. We understand say true protests. Now in government they tell they listen to you know the plight of their people. But funny enough, this government came through protests, but they can never allow you to protest. They won't do that. They can never allow you to protest. Well, I'm dropping it here. Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, share this video. Please let it go viral. Thank you and bye for now.